Okay, here we are. <laughs> Nothing Phone 2A, people. That is going to be the main topic of discussion. And it's going to be a good one, of course. Looking forward to this special live stream. Nothing Phone 2A, people. Huh? That is going to be the main topic of discussion. Am I getting feedback? It's going to be a good one, of course. Looking forward to this special live stream. Am I getting feedback? I feel like I'm getting feedback. Did I miss something? Am I getting feedback? No? Am I missing something? I feel like I'm getting feedback. I am. <laughs> it's from here. Uh, it wasn't feedback, but it was a it was another stream. My bad, my bad, my bad people. My bad people, my bad people. Man was panic panicking for no reason. Let's get down. Let's get um, in position and ready. Let's get the ready. Ooh. Let's go to camera one. Let's just check that we're good. We are good, we're charging up. Oh, that threw me off low key. That's kind of thrown me off and it shouldn't have. Threw me off. Let's bring that here. Camera three, yeah, that's better. That's better. Put that here. Uh, okay, so put this here. <laughs> ah! Live streams. They're not for the weak, you know. They're not for the weak, you know. But of course, we're here. We make it work regardless. We make it work regardless. Camera two, camera three. Uh, there we go. One, two. We make it work regardless. So we're gonna be talking about all things related to the Nothing Phone 2A. So of course, people, you know how we do. Welcome to your special Monday Night Tech and Chill Show Unplugged. I'm your host, Ben from the Lover of Tech channel, and we are, of course, live. We're gonna be talking about everything related to this mid-range phone, the Nothing Phone 2A. Nothing Tech's first A series venture into the mid-range where they really want to bring everything that they've learned from Nothing Phone 1, Nothing Phone 2, 
and wedge it in the middle with a 2A. And I'm gonna tell you this, this might just be the mid-range phone of the year. I know, I know, that's a big, 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 big bold statement. We know competition is coming out in terms of things like the Galaxy A40, no, A40, A35, the Galaxy A55, and of course, we're probably gonna be seeing a Pixel 8a very, very soon with Google I.O. as they usually do. But I've gotta give you props like, yo, nothing. You brought the heat and I'm impressed. No phone is perfect. And of course, we're gonna have to go through all the sing and dance of what they've had to cut back to really bring it to that starting price of 319 pounds or 300 and, I think 320 pounds, 330 pounds. But either way, it's sub $350, 350 pounds, 350 euros that we're working with here. Yeah, this is a good look. This is a good look, this is a good look. So we're definitely gonna be breaking down everything in relation to the design and the build quality when it comes to the experience that we've had when it comes to the things like the display, which I'm gonna tell you is gonna be very positive. The overall performance of what we're getting in terms of what is given based on what is powered by the MediaTek Dimensity 7200 Pro. Yeah, based on a four nanometer process, gonna be very interesting based on TSMC. Everything related to the camera, everything related to the battery and charging, a bit on the software. But of course, you know, software is not really our thing too much, but we'll delve in and talk about that. But yeah, all those things together then conclude to see if this is a contender and if, if this is worth considering. Yeah, of course. Whew. Let me wipe it down. Make sure it's nice and clean. You know how it is. Gotta make it nice and clean. Pour myself some water. Some ice, baby. Woo! Been around the block. We've been around the block. Today's been a busy one. Technically, it's not even today anymore. It's five past two midnight in the UK when the next day is Tuesday. And I haven't even started editing the camera comparison for the Oppo and amongst other things. So bear with me, man, be patient. Be patient, we've got confirmation that the Zenfone 11 Ultra is coming in on Wednesday. So watch out for a battery drain test and everything to do with that as well. Woo! We've been working, lover of tech, we've been working, we've been working, we've been working, we've been working. And the support that we've been getting, all the new people that have been joining here has been refreshing, man. We've been working, we've been working, no sleep for us. No sleep for us, no sleep for us. All right, let's see what's good. Let's jump in, give it a glyph. <laughs> Come on. All right, let's go. Yes, we out here. Yes, young Matt in the house. Hi, Ali, yes, what's good? I can't read Arabic, sorry. <laughs> Seven concurrent viewers. Oh man, I think we should have scheduled it much earlier. We should have scheduled it much earlier. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see if there's any more people that are gonna join through. Of course, we are streaming this live in 4K UHD ultra high definition. So if you've got the bandwidth, the capacity and the device and you wanna stream it at a higher resolution, then definitely feel free, go from 480p, which is SD standard definition, go up to 720p, which is HD, it's high definition, then go up to 1080p, which is FHD, full high definition, then up to 4K, no, up to 1440p, which is QHD, quad high definition, then up to UHD, ultra high definition, 4K, and 2160p for the crispiest live stream you're gonna find on the tech YouTube internet right now. So yeah, we're gonna be talking all things related to the Nothing Phone 2A. The Nothing Phone 2A. Let me get the slack to relax, yeah. A bit, you know. It's just been, yeah. See if there's more people that are gonna join. All right, we've got Derek Reese. What's good? What's good, Derek Reese? Hi, hello. Thank you for joining. We really appreciate you being here. Of course, we're gonna be talking about all things related to the Nothing Phone 2A. Um, after dissecting it and going through, yeah, it's gonna be a good one. It's gonna be a good one. It's gonna be a good one. Appreciate you being here. Let's see if there's more people that are gonna join. Let's see if there's got more people that are gonna join. Really appreciate the live squad being here, but I'm gonna put a disclaimer out there that I didn't actually do. We do have a second channel. So 
for anyone watching this and tends to find that re-watching the whole thing takes too long, hey, we definitely, definitely understand. We ain't even holding that against you. Let's pop it up and show you what that's about, right? There's so many different parts of Lover of Tech media, Lover of Tech being the main baby. Let's go to the main page. Obviously, this is where you are right now. You know us to be here when it comes to the main page, which has grown fantastically. We'll really appreciate it. Just shy of 55K subscribers. We're gonna hit that soon. So really appreciate the support here. All the live streams that you're seeing right now, all the way down to what we started doing this year, which was the S24 Ultra one, really shows that this is what we like doing. Right, but we do understand that if it does take a bit longer to watch it all back, we really appreciate the replay crew for jumping in. Head over to the Cutdown channel. So the Cutdown is exactly that. It's a channel that has the Cutdown version of the special extended Snyder Cut unfiltered, long detailed live stream reviews in 4K that we stream in, right? So if you wanna watch the shorter version, the condensed version, right? Head over to the Cutdown, hit the subscribe button, turn the notifications. Let's help get that channel over to 1,000 subscribers and beyond. That is where the shorter version of this live stream is going to be. So definitely head over there if you want to actually have a condensed version of this. Help us get that channel over 1,000 subscribers and beyond. That's the highlight channel and where we are. Of course, there's other channels that we've got as well. We've got um, our car channel, which is Lover of Cars. So if you're into anything car related, definitely head over there. Lover of Cars, um, we do all things related to car reviews and Formula One reactions, long form and short form. So definitely go over there and check it out. And of course, you know, we have our website as well. So if you head over to loveroftech.com, everything in relations to, you know, our latest blogs that we've written stuff about, you know, all activities related to our latest videos, the brands that we've worked with, our YouTube channel, blog, other channels, and also our merch store. So we've got our merch store there as well. So, you know, all things related to Lover of Tech, when it comes to Lover of Tech um, um, and Lover of Cars, apologies, definitely head over there and check it out. Yeah, so just a public service announcement that we wanted to put out there for those that do come and replay and watch. We really appreciate your support. We really appreciate it. And we did get some feedback um, from last time. So we're just gonna read it and pretty much show you that we are listening, we do pay attention. So for example here, um, you know, it says amazing in-depth review, but thanks for us who missed watching live. So much time is wasted at the start. 12 minutes um, where to jump into interest. So I pretty much directed them to the shorter version here. So that's still in 4K. So again, shout out to the replay crew that do come through and watch it. We really appreciate the support. It's just to let you know that if this is too long to watch back, head over to the cut down. That's where we have the cut down version. We're trying to edit it as quickly after just to make sure that you're able to get on and enjoy a more condensed version. Right, hope that helps. Hope that helps, hope that helps. We've got 13 concurrent viewers, we can work with that. I think we can make that work. Goblet Gaming says, hi, good, hello, hello, hello. What's up, bro, Killers Pride, I'm good, I'm well, thank you, thank you for joining, really appreciate the support. Really appreciate the support. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being here. All right, 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 all right. I think we're ready to start. I think we are ready to start. I think we are ready to start. I think we are ready to start. I'll say that again. I think we are ready to start. I think we are ultimately ready to start. So, you know, as they say in Celebrity Deathmatch, let's get it on. We've charged a bit of the battery already. Let's put this here. Put these bad boys on silence. Actually, uh, silent mute. Okay, I'm gonna put these here. Right. I'm going to be paying attention to your comments, get through to each section, and then pretty much have a healthy discussion. Phone to A. All right, let's see. 
Okay, let's get it on, let's get it started. Here we have it, the Nothing Phone 2A. Bam, 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 bam. Camera two from the top down. Here we have it. Firstly, looking at the design and build quality of what we have here when it comes to the Nothing Phone 2A. And I know this was split right in the middle in terms of how people were feeling about the design and the build quality. Um, the design in terms of how it stands, I would say it gave me the impression that I had an owl looking at me. <laughs> yeah, it's like two owl, it's like the, owl, the eyes of an owl looking directly at you. I don't know if anyone else felt that way, but I low-key felt like it felt like there was two, it's like a, the face of an owl, <laughs> the owl, an owl bird looking at me. That's low-key how I felt when I was actually looking at this. So I don't know. Um, it's very, 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 very unique to itself. I would say it definitely follows enough an identity when it comes to the transparency and what we have. Um, it is using a very, 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 very high quality plastic. I've got to give them that. And obviously you've got the Nothing logo embossed right there as well with all the, you know, status story stuff that you have here, which again, that's I think more of a UK and a Europe thing. Um, yeah, and you've got the red accent in there. You've got pretty much a design that is tapered off or taken from the inspiration of the New York subway. Again, nothing take your London brand. Why not the London Underground? Um, but yeah, I felt like the design of it, it looked like the eyes of two owls looking at me. So I don't know if it feels like I'm... It's weird, but the back of this phone looks like an owl. <laughs> I know no one else has probably like come across that, but I don't know, Inception. But the back of this phone felt like I was an owl was staring at me. <laughs> so I didn't know how to take it, but you know what? I give it points for the fact that the design of it is so unique to itself. You know, and it has the button arrangements that I really like. I like a power button on the right, and then two separate buttons on the left, not a volume rocker, but two separate volume buttons on the left, right? Because nowadays a volume rocker, in some on some phones, the volume rocker is the same size as the power button. This is a healthy size power button, two volume um, buttons on the left, and it's directly adjacent to each other. I love this, I, it just makes it so easy in terms of the one hand experience. Thumb positioning is absolutely perfect. Rounded corners on the edge where it sits nicely in the hand and then, your reachability when it comes to the, what you call it, your middle finger. Very easy when it comes to dealing with the volume, right? This is why I like it. I don't like a power button here, volume's up, or if the power button's slightly lower, it's awkward and adds tension to your thumb when you're pressing it. It's all the finer details and then the confusion of the volume button. I, mean, I get confused with that on the Pixel phone. So this is perfect. It got the perfect button arrangements that I like. Um, the feel of the plastic in terms of how it ridges off is slightly ridges below or after if you see it right there so you can feel a little ridge here so this stands as its own platform if you really try and look at it, it's hard just because of the exposure but yeah i think this is a really nice and high quality plastic um obviously it depends on the color that you go for and how it manages fingerprints with the milk color which is what this is called milk <laughs> milk it <laughs> mm. <laughs> i'm childish blame me it hides fingerprints and handles it a lot better but the design i do have to say it's it's the pure knife and identity i do like it it is, it does feel weird. I still feel like an owl is staring at me or it's like a snake with a big head. <laughs> it's like, it's, I feel like it's a bit, it, it's just a fun design. It's a fun, unique design. But I don't know if anyone has noticed it felt like an owl is looking at you. That's how I feel like when I, when I see this. But again, it's nice to see, just to say the screws, um, you know, the glyph interface lights that are here. Obviously it's not a full glyph interface. It's a partial glyph interface, less glyphish as um, Floss will say, less glyphage. <laughs> um, this is definitely one of the ways that you can actually see it. Um, it's really good, it's really good. Obviously the noise cancelling microphone at the top. Then at the bottom you do have the USB-C port. 
and then you've got the bottom firing speaker and you've also got the sim, sim tray and the microphone there. So take that into consideration what you have. I think overall though, in terms of the uniqueness of the design is great. The actual physical build quality, I think it's really good in respect to what the price point is, right? I think they've really done a good job with it. It's nice and well-rounded, especially for the footprint being 6.7 inches, corner to corner. Um, the weight of it is also well distributed as well. Uh, it's 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 a good look. I think I find this to be a good one. You know, 190 grams. Um, it's dual nano SIM card slot, which is up, out something I prefer. It's IP54 splash resistant, which is kind of a surprise. I wouldn't have expected an IP rating at all when it comes to a device within the splice range. So that's a good look. Obviously, um, it's one of those ones where it's splash and water, uh, splash water and dust resistant. So again, just take that in, in into consideration. It isn't full waterproofing against the elements. Um, it's it's really nice. It's really nice. I actually really like it. I like it. It's charming. The best way I can put for this design is that it's very charming. It grows on you. I mean, it's charming. Like, you love it. I wouldn't say you love it straight away, but it strikes a major interest, right? It strikes a major interest when you're rocking it and you're using it for the first time. And it never gets boring. It always keeps you thinking what is looking at you from the back. At one point, like I'm saying, it felt like, you know, an owl was looking at me. Then another time I'm thinking this is like a snake with a big circle head <laughs> because obviously the tail that comes here. There's just weird and funny moments where it, I go through different design identity of what it can be. It's, it's like a chameleon effect, right? It's a fun design. It's fun, it's unique, it's quirky, it's the nothing identity. I like it for, in terms of the boldness, to, to stick it to the man you know, and do something different. And regardless of the price point, the materials being used, honestly, it feels really well put together. I have to give them that. It's really well put together, good weight and good balance, especially of the weight. It's been really, really well put together. And everything else about it in terms of the button placement um, that I talked about, dual nano sim, of course, 6.7 inch form factor when it comes to the footprint. And I have to say, we're gonna talk more about the display. I have to say that that part has really impressed me and we're gonna do some measurements there. But in terms of the overall design, this is a stunner. This is a looker. This probably will win the best looking and the most unique looking mid-range phone of 2024. Not to say what's gonna happen with the Nothing Phone 3 if they do bring it out this year, obviously following the yearly, yearly trend, which I'm hoping that hopefully they will do come summertime, June, July, like what they've really done and kept with. But I'll say for this one, in terms of the mid-range sector, if I'm seeing this compared to all the other mid-range phones that are coming out or being announced, whether it's gonna be the Pixel 8a, which is gonna be probably of a higher spec and a higher price point, but things like the A35, the A55, and these phones in this particular bracket, man, I'm saying the Nothing Phone is looking good. The Nothing Phone is definitely looking good. Um, the feel of it is excellent. I really, really vibe with it. I would say definitely, when it comes to the design, you know what? It deserves a strong, a strong, a strong, a strong... I would say the design of this probably, probably, probably warrants... Ooh, I don't know. It probably warrants a very, 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 very strong 8.5 to 9. I would actually, in some cases, probably give it a nine, you know, but to be conservative, I think it's the design and the build quality for this price point, it strikes a strong eight, 8.5. And in some cases, I would say a strong nine. I personally think in terms of the design uniqueness, how it keeps you on your toes, how it keeps you guessing, it can fluctuate where some might drop it to 7.57, 7, but I'm sticking within the 8, 8.5 to on a good day when I'm really looking at it and thinking, you're looking good enough in phone 2A, I'll give it a nine. And the build quality in terms of how well it's been put together in terms of the fit and finish, yeah, I vibe with it, I vibe with it, I vibe with it. Yeah, so, so far, I would say the design and the build quality of the Nothing Phone 2A has really struck well. Has really, really struck well. Good luck, nothing. You got something going on. All right, let's jump into the comments. Quick break, let me refill with water. Do, do. Just the glyph. There's the glyph. There's the glyph. There is the glyph. 
<laughs> but was it the owl comment? Is that why you lot are laughing? I'm guessing so, I'm guessing so. I'm guessing so. I don't wanna lose you now. Right in the other half of me. Biggest sin is in my heart. It's a space and now you're gone. Show me how to fight the now. Tell me, baby, it was easy coming back into you once I figure it out. You were right here all alone. It's like you're my mirror. My mirror staring back at me. I've heard several times it takes bad portrait photos, right? Did you watch the camera comparison? <laughs> Did you watch the camera comparison? The most extensive camera comparison you're gonna find on enough info to you a on the interwebs. Did you watch it? You gotta watch it and make that judgment for yourself. I don't wanna lose you now. I'm looking right at the other half of me. It's like you're my mirror. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I couldn't get any bigger. Okay, if anyone met beside of me. Just having a quick break in between gap. In between gap. A, 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 A. It's been a long time. Should have left you, left you. I don't mean to step to, step to, step to, step to, step to, step to, step to. Right, another thing I wanted to do a quick shout out to you is Vernal. Check this out. We brand new, baby. We brand new. We got a standing desk. Standing desk, standing desk, standing desk, standing desk. I've got to give a big, massive shout out to the kind folks at Vernal. They are the ones that have hooked up our new standing desk that we're going to be using for many, many things. And this is one of them. The live streams that we do on here. The massive, 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 massive Massive shout out to the guys over at Vernal Desks. Let me see if I can even take off the cover to show the logo, right? <laughs> so you guys know who we're talking about. Uh, right, take off the cover. There we go, bang. So, I'm gonna put this to the side. Quick interlude, not sponsored, but the disc supplier. This is a kind folks at Vernal. Um, really appreciate the fast turnaround. We've got some unique videos that we're gonna start putting into the channel, such as what's in my bag. We're gonna have got we've got some PC builds that we've got going, and of course for our special live stream stuff that we're doing here, man, Vernal, this standing desk, which is what we have. Um, if I can push it down so we can really see it, right? This particular one is the 100 centimeters by 70. This is the light walnut, really supplied it um, with the black legs. And then we put some 10 millimeter threaded wheels on there with locking mechanisms. Really, really proud I was able to think on my feet and get that in. Um, but yeah, this is clutch. Loving the standing desk. Again, they supplied, we did a video on um, their standing desk on a channel, which I'm gonna go over and just show. It's more just to say a, a nice thank you, shout out to them. It was really, really kind of them to support. So if you go here, Right, our 2024 death setup video right here. This is all by Vernal. So if you have a look here, this is exactly what they did to help us. Um, so my main one is the 120 by 70, but you know, we asked for the smallest one possible so we could actually do stuff with it there. So really appreciate the support. This is something that they've helped us with. So yeah, it's looking good, man. It's looking good, it's looking good, it's looking good. Shout out to the guys over at Vernal. 
Okay, looking forward to you doing the battery drain test on this phone. I've done it already. I've done the battery drain test on the Nothing Phone 2A. I've done that already, man. I've done that already. I've done that already. Oh, yes, Sergio, I'll update you. I'm still waiting for things to clear. Um, it was meant to have cleared Friday. I've done follow-up emails for the funds for that to come through. As soon as it does, I'll transfer it to you, man. Promise, I'm not going anywhere. You will get yours, you will get yours, you will get yours. Um, is there, is that the S23 or the S24 that you're holding? The S24, S24. Passive aggressive, what's good, man? Passive, what's good? Appreciate you being here, man. Appreciate you being here. But yeah, shout out to the can folks at Vernal for the standing desk. It's gonna come in so clutch for all the new videos that we're gonna be doing. Um, Thank you for your patience, cancer. Trust me, I'm not going anywhere. I'm not one to withhold stuff. As soon as that clears, bam, you'll get yours. Ben, you're killing these battery tests, but I appreciate that. It's a new venture, and I think we've set the high, we've set the bar high right now for tech YouTube on the ones that you should be trusting when it comes to the battery drain test. So really appreciate the support and the cosign there, man. Really appreciate the support and a cosign there. It means a lot. There's a lot of sleepless nights that come with doing these battery drain tests. But we move, of course. We move, of course. We move, of course. We move. Rada, 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 rada. Let's switch this bad boy up and let's talk all things related to front and center the display of the Nothing Phone 2A. Buzz! <laughs> Buzz, baby. Buzz. The display of the Nothing Phone 2A. Buzz. You know the time? You know the boss, you know the boss, you know the boss. All right, cool. Everything related to the Nothing Phone TA when it comes to the display, we have right here. Let's put this to the side. Let's talk all things related to the display of the Nothing Phone 2A. I like that buzz. So what are we working with here? We're working with a flat panel display. Great. It's a flexible OLED panel. Great. We love that. AMOLED is great. That's what we want to see. It's got a resolution of 2412 by 1080p. This is a 20 by 9 aspect ratio, so we love it for the size. It's using Gorilla Glass 5 at the front. It does have an always-on display, which is one thing we love to see. It's 120 hertz, which is good. 1 billion colors, 120 hertz, HR10+. Plus. And, of course, it says the typical brightness is 700 nits. High brightness mode is 1100 and 1300 nits peak. Obviously, I'm guessing this is going to be either outdoor viewing or HDR content. So we're going to delve in and have a look at that. But when we go here, we can pretty much see this is what the Nothing Phone 2A is working with when it comes to the display. So we're going to bring that here. We can see that in terms of the brightness level, we can dial it down a little bit. So it's probably easy to see. We've got it in light mode just so that it doesn't reflect. But of course, you can go into dark mode and it switches up nice and smooth. But again, we don't want to see the reflection as you'll see right there. Um, bring it into light mode so you don't see the reflections and stuff. We've increased the screen out time. And then what we've got is obviously the dark theme status bar. What we've got here, show internet speed if you want to. Of course, battery percentage. Um, and then the always um, vibrate icon. Um, that's one thing I like, uh, status bar. So you can just, boom, change that right here. Uh, display size, you can change it in terms of the font size and whatnot. High contrast text if you want to. Um, alive, <laughs> I like that, alive! <laughs> uh, or you can go to standard, but we're gonna keep it on the live, which is as we do. Um, display refresh rate is dynamic, high or standard. Standard being 60 hertz, don't do that to yourself. Um, high is obviously doing that. Dynamic is where it dyna dynamically will switch refresh rate according to the content to optimize for battery life. Interesting. So we left it on dynamic HR display. Enable peak brightness for HR content. This will increase battery usage. Again, let's see it. Displays and stuff on full screen. Auto rotate screensaver. That's what we have here. This is the display experience, right? It's a great display in terms of what we have. But let's go in and pretty much see how the brightness level is going to be. We're going to measure the brightness level. Um, let's find Google Photos. What do we have here? What do we have here? What do we have here? Give me a moment. Mm -mm. <laughs> Photos, library, 
download bright clear white background right what we're going to do is we've not got adaptive brightness on it's probably going to overexpose on the display we're going to push this out clear white background we're going to do our lux meter and check what we're working with in terms of brightness levels right we've got our lux meter here what do we have damn <laughs> that ain't bad Clear white background, auto brightness disabled. We've got that maximum, right? And this is what we have, 869 nits. Hmm, interesting. Let me check if auto brightness is definitely off. It is off, auto brightness is off, yeah. Adaptive brightness is off. That's impressive. That's impressive. That's impressive. 869 nits, standard adaptive brightness off clear white background, push all the way to maximum brightness, slightly under 900 nits. That's actually really, really good. That's actually really, really good. Okay, so next one we're gonna do is bring in adaptive brightness, right? We're gonna go to display, adaptive brightness, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna torch it to see if it enables high brightness mode. So we're gonna bring that here. Right, so we've put the torch on there. And let's see if we disable hold. Let's see what we get in terms of the brightness measurement. All right, that does increase a bit. Right, so this is what we have. With the torch on there, 1,000 and 45 nits of brightness. So yeah, take that into consideration. This is what we're working with. And we're gonna do, we're gonna find HDR content. This is what we usually do. We go on YouTube, um, 4K HDR brightness test. Brings this one up. Make sure it's in 4K. We're gonna make sure that we brighten the light on there. Disable hold. see what it does in terms of a 4% window. It's quite small. Like, can we get past and we can we get as close? The high brightness mode is pretty much on par, 1,100. But can we get to the 1,300 that it was referring to? Let's see. All right, let's go. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. They got it. They got it. They got it. It's right on the money. It's right on the money. Right, let's go to a bigger area. It's right on the money. All right, okay. Interesting, all pixels, let's do all pixels. Interesting, interesting, it's up there. So this is HDR testing all pixels. Interesting, 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 interesting. So we'd get, we did get around like 1,200, and this was in a small window of around 
25%. Let's see that again. Interesting. Right, got it right there. That's in a 25% window. That is what we have here. 1,209 nits in a 25% window, all bright. I think that test goes up to 4,000 nits. So yeah, you know, it's, 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 it's pretty much on par. It's pretty much on par. What's really surprised me and what's really impressed me is the mode in which Oh, let me just move it here. Oh, sorry. The mode in which it's a plain white background with auto brightness disabled and you just crank it up. That is like around 900 nits. That's really, really impressive stuff. I've got to give it to them. I've got to give it to them. I've got to give it to them. And especially at this price point, look at the fact that they've been able to actually produce even borders across. That just looks so clean. And they are a good thickness size. This will put certain flagships from two years ago to shame. So this is a good look. This is such a good look. Considering where the Nothing From One first came out in 2022, this is a strong outing for an A series phone to look this good. I've got to give it to them. Another one, another one. The display experience on this nothing phone has been nothing short of good, right? It's been nothing short of good. Which does come. It's been nothing short of good, I have to say. Let's bring it. A bit of inception there. Um, Yeah, let's go to... Two packages like this, you gotta do it. I don't wanna get copyrighted on the cut down channel, so let me just bring this up. Um, we'll find something else to test the speakers um, quickly. Uh, let's... 4K, yep, it's UHG. So you can see that in terms of the display image quality, this is what an all screen device does, man. It looks so good. It looks so good. The display experience on here is so good. It's so, 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 so good. I've got to give props to that, man. I've got to give props to that. The display experience is exquisite. All screen, small hole punch at the top center, which is the best place for it to be, in my opinion. It's really good. It's really, really, really good. Really loving the display experience on here. It's a top tier display experience. It's a top tier display experience. I've got to give them that. And another thing I've got to give them is how good the haptics are. Oh my goodness. I don't know why the haptics have to be that good, but they are that good. They are that good. Let me check, is it haptics? Is that what it will put it as? All right, so vibration, cause, intensity, and it's the mid one. Oh my goodness, the, dis uh, the haptics are excellent. The haptic feedback on here is on point. I've got to give it to the Nothing Squad. That's one thing that they did really well. Um, flip to glyph, of course. Uh, so we use flip it, glyph it, <laughs> flip it and glyph it. <laughs> Yeah, no, 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 it's a good look, 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 it's a good look. The haptics are so tight on here. They are so tight on here. Uh, lock screen, uh, one, two, three, four, five, double line lock. Um, privacy, is it security? Device lock, swipe, set screen lock, um, pin. It's just one, two, three, four. 
Next, one, two, three, four. All right, uh, done. Fingerprint, let's set up, one, two, three, four. We're setting up as we go. Uh, set up, okay, hold to start. So you're seeing a live setup of it here. Oh, there we go. Bam. Show fingerprint icon. Yeah, okay. So you can see that always on display is active. I do wish the fingerprint sensor location was here. So I will say that they still have this knack where it's lower than usual. So if you, let's just say, bring the Galaxy S24 to it. You can see that the S24 is higher. I think this is a much better position. It's a bit low, in my opinion, so it does require a bit of gym um, hand gymnastics. It's just more to give reference. I know these are different price points, but I wish the optical sensor was higher, um, whereas obviously the ultrasonic and this one is higher there. Yeah, so, but it does work really well and the haptic feedback from the vibration on the phone really helps to just make it reassuring. So I love that. It's really good, really, really tight. Great haptics, good fingerprint sensor, the display experience. I've got to give it to them, man. They knocked this one. I personally think they knocked this one. They've taken this one as well, man. The display experience on the Nothing Phone 2A really, really, really cuts above. My goodness, the brightness level, slightly under 900 nits. So it's definitely higher than the 700 typical that they were talking about if we're measuring it with a white background. And obviously the high brightness mode, man, 1100 nits, it was pretty much there. And then the peak, which we got 1,209 nits in HDR, it was there. You know what? Yeah, that's a nine out of 10 display experience for this price point. Sheesh, considering what the pixel 6a from 2022 was getting slated for having 60 hertz at the time my goodness you're getting 120 hertz at this quality and if you even look at last year when i did you know the showcase video on the naughty 3 Lite, 299 pounds not that much cheaper than what you're getting here that came with an lcd display yeah 120 hertz but it was lcd Ugh. so We've come a good way, man. This is a good bar that you've set here, nothing. Yeah, like I said, round two with the display experience, you're onto something, nine out of 10. All right, let's jump into the comments. Let's jump into the comments and see what's good. It says, is this the first nothing phone that you've tested? No, 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 it's not. It's not, it's not the first and hopefully it won't be the last. It's not the first and hopefully it won't be the last. If we go on the channel, you can see for yourself. All you gotta do is go to nothing, bam. Unboxing. Yeah, did a review, nothing phone 2A, uh, nothing phone one, did a comparison against the Pixel 6A two, almost two years ago. Um, yep, 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 nothing phone 2A. I did a whole live stream review on the nothing phone 2A versus the Pixel 6A, discussion comparison, um, did a comparison review here. Yeah, I've done a lot of coverage, man, on boxing. I've done a lot of coverage, a lot. I've done a lot of coverage. One week later, I've done a lot of coverage. I've done a lot of coverage on the Nothing Phone 1. Did a lot of coverage, man. Camera comparison. Charging test. Yeah, so it's crazy. It's crazy. We've done a lot. We've done a lot, we've done a lot, we've done a lot. All things related to the Pixel 6a. Yeah, so, yeah, this is not my first laughing phone. Hopefully it won't be the last either. Hopefully it won't be the last either. So yeah, just type in nothing and you can see it right there. A 
unbox it awesome unexpected dual app clone features yeah it's really good it's really really good it's really really good obviously i don't really touch too much on software in our reviews but yeah it's really well put together it's really well put together and i've got to give it to them so good luck all right quick interlude let's check the back and The sounds of calm when we become the animals that were made in the jungle. Tell me where I don't know, don't know I won't. Tell me when you don't know, don't know I won't. Now tell me when you don't know, don't know I won't. Now tell me when you don't know, don't know I won't. Come in, give me when I don't know, I won't. Come in, give me when I don't know, I won't. No, no, no. Give me when I don't know, I won't. Now come in. Give me what I don't know. I want the sounds of calm. All right, let's move on to the next part, which is the performance and the specifications of what we're working here when it comes to the Nothing Phone 2. A, A, A. Okay, Play Store. Let's go and download CPU Z, but of course we do have the Geekbench already installed, but I do like CPU Z for my PC peeps. Um, install. I'm gonna let CPU Z install. Um, we're gonna open it and just give you a foreground of what we're looking at in terms of the specifications right here. Here's the specs of the performance of what we're working with down here. Bang. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Eight core, MediaTek Dimensity 7200 Pro, custom built, custom chip, custom optimized for the Nothing Phone 2A, right? Two performance cores, as you can see, in 2.8 gigahertz, six performance, um, six um, A50, A510, A510 cores, two gigahertz. Um, in terms of the clocks that we've got here, it's a Mali G610 GPU. Um, device obviously you've got the display and of course we've got 12 gigabytes of RAM on this particular model 256 gigabytes of storage system battery interesting okay about All right let's bring this up and go here we're gonna open up Geekbench you can see in terms of the specs right here we've got device 12 gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigabytes of storage on this particular model that we have here. And then if we go into the history of what we've done Geekbench wise, here is the performance benchmarks that we've got when it comes to using Geekbench. All right, this is what we got. This is what we got. This is what we got. This is what we've got. One thousand one hundred and twenty six when it comes to single core performance, two thousand five hundred and eighty one when it comes to multi core. Very interesting. And I would say the performance is plenty OK at this price point. I'm not going in expecting it to wow me in any meaningful way. This is not 
going to, this is not some flagship killer. It's, you know, having used it, it runs really well. I think nothing I've been able to really optimize this chip with how their software is, where the software is not too intense, but it's more got a visual identity of the dot matrix effect that they've got going on with the nothing phone um, and just the whole nothing identity. The dot matrix and the wireframe look of everything, everything's clean and aesthetic. Everything's what you're meant to be expecting to see where it is. You know, you're, there's nothing inherently out of place. As you can see, MediaTek Dimensity 7200 Pro, 12 gigs of RAM. And obviously you can do the RAM booster as well, which is 14 gigs in total. But some storage might obviously be sacrificed internally. 256 gig, 5,000 milliamp hour battery, 6.7 inch flexible OLED display, um, Android 14. Yeah, I think they've done a really good job. Um, overall, I think the performance is more than adequate. And I think they've just really backed it up with good RAM storage allocation. Um, I'm not too sure what the storage speed is, whether it's UFS 3.0, 3.1, 3.2, 2.2, 2.1. Doesn't really matter too much at this price point. It's not something I'll be losing, I'll be losing sleep over. I'll tell you that for free. Um, nothing OS. There's always a software update, right? Always. <laughs> Nothing have always got software updates coming, which is good to see. Um, here we are. Bam. Experimental features. Honestly, the performance for me has been great. AirPods support, show AirPods icon and battery info. Interesting. Okay. Enhanced touch, improved touch response for speed for specific games, enabling the feature, glyph progress. Honestly, the software and the performance, I'll say the performance has been good. Um, I'm going to open this up right here. I'm going to rack right now. I'm going to, I'm going to rack right now. I'm going to rack right now. I'm going to, I'm going to rack right now. Let's go back. Uh, continue with current display. High frame rate, visual quality default, high quality, keep on default. Asphalt, Asphalt is my game of choice. Um, claim, next. Play next event, next. Play anyway. I'm gonna select the Camaro this time. Nope. Let's go back. Select the Evo. All right. Let's go. 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 Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, drift. Yes, 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 yes. Show me. Mana says, show me how you get down. Mana says, swear down. Ooh. Bam. Flip it, flip. Boost. Damn, man. This graphics is crazy. I do love it, man. Reminds me of Burnout Paradise, honestly. Power slide in. Boom. So, yeah, as you can see, playing a game like Asphalt 9, man, is a graphically intensive, lots of physics, fast pace, alpha effects happening. Yeah, it's just one of those where, honestly, I feel like the performance is more than adequate enough. I'm not much of a mobile gamer, but when I do game mobile-wise, it is Asphalt 9. And, you know, it's easy, it's quick to get into, the graphics are really good. I feel like this performance here is more than adequate for what you have in terms of getting it in and getting it done. So, honestly, this part, not really much to say when it comes to the experience for the Nothing Phone 2A. But yeah, performance, 
I think with this Dimensity 7200 Pro that they've optimized on a four nanometer chip based on TSMC's process and what they've done with their software and how they've partnered with MediaTek, I think it was great they went with MediaTek this time around in terms of Snapdragon. Snapdragon would have made this more expensive if they went with the 7 Gen 2, 7 Gen 3 or whichever 7 Gen that they go for, it would have been a much more expensive. They will probably have to step down to a 6 Gen 2 or 6 Gen 3. So I'm really glad they actually went with MediaTek on this particular one. They've made it work and I think the performance is more than adequate for this price point where it's a sub 350 pound phone to start with before you spec it up. Yeah, I think they're on the right path and I think they've done a great job with it. So yeah, performance more than adequate for what I would use it for in terms of intensity. It's not buckled and it hasn't shown me to do that. And the most intense thing I'm gonna have on here when it comes to actual tasks is going to be gaming with Asphalt 9. That's my game of choice. And yeah, I think the performance, yeah, it holds, it, it, it holds its own. That is that for the Nothing Phone 2A when it comes to the performance. All right, let's let, let this thing do a software update. <laughs> In the meantime, Michael Pepper Tech, what's good? My Nothing Phone 2A is on its way and should be here next Monday. Nice, 25th, 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 25th. Oh, I'm running out of storage. All right, hold on, let me go to the top. Give me a minute, give me a minute. Eject. <laughs> I was running out of storage and I didn't want this to ruin the stream. Um, hold on. This should hopefully bring it up. Yes. Okay, we're good. We're good. <laughs> we are good. Salvaged. 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 Didn't want to ruin this one, especially the top down be the most important. Um, here we are, here we are, here we are. Oh, my days. Oh, baby. When it comes to being truly true indeed. One thing I found, one thing I found. I will never let you down, down, down. When it comes to being truly true indeed. One thing I found, one thing I found, that I will never let you down. All right, compare this with the OnePlus 12R. I'll do OnePlus 12R stuff um, this week, so watch out for it. I'll, I'll definitely do that. Albert says, best battery drain test on the planet. I've been taking notes. Good, I'm glad. I'm glad if it inspires people to do it properly finally, then great. I didn't expect to come onto the scene and, you know, by the looks of it, take charge on battery drain test. I thought I was going to be an amateur. I still feel like I am, but it looks like we've shaken up, you know, the scene when it comes to doing realistic battery drain tests, i.e. mobile data only with an active core text and data plan. And 
it's hard. I know people want to see 5G testing, but 5G testing is difficult. Getting good 5G signal indoors is not easy. I'm I'm glad I barely get good enough 4G signal indoors to be able to do the test that I'm doing for you all, but I just want to put a disclaimer out there. It's not that simple. If you watch the battery drain test, when it gets to the YouTube 4K60 section, at times I run into a lot of buffering. It's intense. So even when you're getting what is supposed to be full coverage 4G indoors, it doesn't always end up being the case, but I appreciate the support on the Albert, man. Nice one. I always find nothing to be very smooth. Yeah, love the icon. Yeah, nothing OS. Nothing OS, man. Really well optimized. Really well optimized. Really, really well optimized. Gotta give it to them. Really well optimized. Right, what's next? The owl eyes that we're looking at camera. All things related to the camera, what are we working with here with the Nothing Phone 2A? With the camera, this is 250 megapixel sensors. Again, this is a principal setup from what we've seen from Nothing Phone 1, and obviously the Nothing Phone 2 as well. It's a principal hardware setup that is very similar and pretty much the same. So they're basing it around that. It's one main wide sensor, one ultra wide, no gimmick sensors such as a macro or whatever. It's all there as you see it. And of course, we did do our ultimate camera comparison here. So we highly recommend that you go watch it if you haven't seen it already. Um, let me put this down. And then what we did compare it to is the iPhone 15. Again, with our camera comparisons, we like to do it as a freeway. And I'm gonna be honest with you, the real camera comparison for the price range was against the Xiaomi Redmi Note 13 Pro. Yes, I stuck the iPhone 15 there for two re reasons. People are always searching for iPhone 15 camera comparisons. It was gonna give it a better chance to actually wedge it next to the um, Nothing Phone 2A in terms of searchability. But also, apart from searchability, I wanted to also say, if you're getting a phone that feels really, really good at this price point at 320 pounds and higher, how much higher do you have to go to really see a difference? How much do you have to go to really see a difference? So I was saying like, a base flagship phone is around 800 pounds. This is 320 pounds. How much do you have to go up to really notice the difference when it comes to camera? So of course we went through it in depth as we do. It was a half an hour one, which is short for us. Trust me, half an hour um, camera comparison is light work compared to the colossal hour and 20 minutes, hour and 30 minutes that we've been pushing close to you on three ways and four way camera comparisons. So watch out for it in that sense. Um, again, the limitation for these mid-range devices is that you know you don't get 4K 60 on a selfie camera. That's something that you get on the iPhone. Um, but one thing that the Nothing Phone does do well is that it does have video stabilization on the front-facing camera at least. If you look at what you have with Xiaomi, there isn't any stabilization on the front-facing camera. Um, it is still limited to 1080p. Of course, on there, it's the performance that's really looking good. What's nice is that you even get 1080p 60, so you get high frame rate 60 FPS on a selfie camera. You don't get on the Xiaomi, so that's really good. Okay, it's you know, and you don't have video blur mode, but we're going to skip that. Obviously, that's a flagship feature. And you can see that the 4K video recording on the Nothing Phone 2A it's actually comparable. Again, mind the dark and gloomy day in London. It really, really wasn't the case. Um, and then of course you've got 4K 30 on the ultra wide, the Xiaomi's limited to 1080p 30. So again, in parity when it comes to the wide and the ultra wide for recording compared to the iPhone 15, that's really, really good when it comes to video. Um, again, showing the zoom performance and um, yeah, you know, it matches up very contrary. Now this, this part, yeah, there is a slight color processing issue where you know, it's it was quite purple. So if you see it there, it's like a haze. I'm sure nothing, you know, part of the software update that just came through right now is to make sure that, you know, the experience there isn't bogged. So it's 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 a good one. It's a good one that they've got going on there when it comes to um the camera. Um but definitely I highly recommend that you watch um, the ultimate camera comparison for that. It holds up well, it holds up well. I think there's there's a bit of a color processing issue in some situations. Um, so just consider that. And of course you've got um, the landscape images, um, you know, the super extended zoom all the way 
to a 10x. Again, I don't think you get these cameras for extended zoom personally. Um, this is the front facing camera experience that we've got here. It does okay. I think it does better, definitely does better than the, um, the Redmi. So just take that into consideration. Um, and then again, this is what we have here in terms of the ultra wide. The ultra wide is actually really good on a human subject. Got to, got to give props for where that is. Um, yeah, and this is the two X. And of course, you've got a four X, but a four X was really just matching up to what we're seeing on the Redmi uh, portrait mode. Again, some people are asking about how the portrait mode was. This is it. I think the portrait mode is actually quite comparable. Um, it would have probably improved with the software update that we had. Um, yeah. Again, 2X, it washes out. So this is something to can, you know, really look out for. High resolution mode that you've got. Um, you don't really have the ability to switch off night mode personally, um, which is quite interesting. So it doesn't have a dedicated night mode option. It has the moon icon, but when you press it, it really does nothing. So, <laughs> pun, right? Um, but overall, night mode performance is actually not bad, especially when it comes to the selfie. Um, it hits well enough, I would say, with night mode, and it does video, it does low light portrait as well. Um, it doesn't have a night mode for portrait, but it actually works. And obviously with the front screen flash, it does give you that option to use that and still do portrait mode. So props there where it's given. Um, nothing phone to A, here we have it in terms of the ultra wide, um, the wide obviously with me and the frame as the subject. Um, yeah, you can't really deactivate night mode. So I would, I, would, I would say nothing should allow that for even faster capture time. Um, flash is decent. Um, it allows you to use the ultra wide flash or ultra or flash, ultra wide and flash together. So, yeah, we're working in a good space when it comes to the camera. I personally think, I personally think it's a no gimmicks affair with the camera, and I think they did a great job. I personally think they did a great job with the camera. I mean, they're still doing software updates to optimize it, which is one thing we love to see. We love to see a brand that's always supporting their stuff. Um, it's a good look, honestly. I, I, I've <laughs> I have no complaints when it comes to the camera as such. Obviously, odd color processing issues here and there, but I look at the price point, I look at the feature sets, being able to do 1080p 60 on the selfie camera, 1080p 30 with stabilization on both of them. You've got 4K on the ultra wide and the wide as well at 4K 30. I don't expect 4K 60 at this price point, but it does at least do 60 FPS in 1080p on the wide in the main sensor. There's so many things that they've ticked off that really just allows it to be a nice rounded package. I think nothing did well. Of course, you can't lens switch. So if you're recording on 4K 30 on the main wide 10, so if you want to switch to the ultra wide, you have to stop recording completely, switch the lens and start recording again. So maybe lens switching, but again, I don't know if that's asking too much at this price point. So have to really consider that. But overall, I think personally for what they did for this camera, it's no frills, no BS, no nonsense. They've just pushed what they can and what they're capable of doing into there. And it performs. Yes, minor things could be improved with color processing in certain zoom modes and stuff. And portrait mode could be better exposed when it comes to the dynamic range. But overall, personally, I think they've done a great job with this camera system. And I really hope they stick with it at this price point and keep developing it. But yeah, camera, definitely go watch our ultimate camera comparison to get full context on it. It's a good one to watch. But overall, I'll give it a nice solid seven out of 10 for the camera. All right. As I said, would you personally feel comfortable using this phone as your only phone? These Chinese companies usually have bad support when they need replacement. Um, yeah, I'll, I would I would feel confident. I would feel comfortable, but I'm spoiled. I'm spoiled. I've got, I've, I've, I've got access to flagships, man. Oh, okay. Break your neck, come on. Refill. Then we're gonna get onto the last section, which is of course going to be the battery and charging experience. Whew.
All right. I forgot to record. Oh dear. All right, my kids. Jeez. What if I had a warranty issue though? I think nothing support are decent. You know, they're quite decent. So, you know, I don't think you would have much of a problem when it comes to warranty support, I believe. But again, depends where you are. Uh, the plastic color change over time? I don't know, I don't know. Nothing seems to be amongst the top with battery, yeah. Yeah, let's get on to it. Let's talk all things related to the battery on this Nothing Phone 2A. Give me the glyph, yes. Nothing Phone 2A. So if you weren't familiar, we did a battery drain test on the Nothing Phone 2A and it really kicked butt. It really, 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 really kicked butt. And you as our audience really took to it very well. So here we have it. Here we have it. The battery drain test that we did here, man, definitely highly recommend you go watch it. Um, it's, it was, it, you know, the battery drain tests have been a staple. Look at the viewership on there, man. Uh, we did it against the Redmi, um, the Xiaomi Redmi Note 13 Pro. Um, nothing Phone 2A. Man, the Nothing Phone was just beasting all the way. The toughest part was obviously the Instagram. Um, I'll tell you this now, the iPhone 15 just cooked itself. Uh, iPhone finished in like four hours and 26 minutes. Um, it wasn't a good look for it at all. It wasn't a good look for it at all. And um, with my extreme battery drain test, again, we run it on mobile data only indoors. Um, we get more consistent 4G signal indoors and even then it dips here and there. Um, away from doing that, of course, um, you know, we go through TikTok. Instagram Reels, one hour of Instagram live streaming, which is an absolute killer. YouTube 4K60 for an hour. YouTube Music um, for an hour. Twitter Spaces. And then we've got um, 4K video recorded on the main camera um, app. And then, you know, we go into uh, gaming. After gaming, we do um, a one hour video call of WhatsApp if it makes it. And then we circle back to um, TikTok. So if you see here, the Xiaomi finished in six hours, 34 minutes and 18 seconds, but you see the nothing from really pushed through, man. And it died at seven hours. So we're talking about an extra 50 minutes on top of what we have versus the Redmi. And mind you, the Redmi is powered by the Snapdragon 7 Gen, um, 7S Gen 2 or Gen 3, I believe, whichever one they're calling it. Um, and it has a bigger battery at 5,100 milliamps compared to 5,000 ever so slightly. But yeah, the Nothing Phone gapped it. Now the performance on here in terms of benchmarking is slightly higher, but still the Nothing Phone gapped it heavy, heavy. And it got into the gaming test and game for 24 extra minutes on that seven hour interval where we go into gaming. So yeah, yo, props to it, props to it, props to it, props to it, props to it. Now, of course, when we're comparing things like charging, you know, we did do the um, charging test and use the official nothing charger. And as you can see here, what we have is 5,000 milliamp hour battery. It does support 45 watt charging. Um, and it finished in respectable time. Obviously there's no wireless charging on here, but I'm not expecting it to. In terms of finishing times and charging, you do have a finishing time of one hour, five minutes and 36 seconds. That's low key even slightly faster than what I've been getting with the Galaxy S24 Ultra. But again, Compared to the Xiaomi, you know, it's 46 minutes, 67 watts charging, and it's a plug that comes in the box. Remember this, the plug doesn't come in the box for the nothing. So that's something you have to take into consideration and in how you navigate through that. Um, yeah, so, you know, the battery experience, I think is for, for, the, for, for how much you get an almost an extra 50 minutes of intense usage. Yeah, I'll definitely, 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 definitely say that the battery life experience, even though you don't get a charger in a box and you do have to get it separately, um, I would say that the charging experience and the battery experience on a whole is a sing song smash hit for a mid-range phone at this price point. Wow, wow, wow. That's a solid nine out of 10 when it comes to the battery life experience on here. I'll probably duct it from nine to eight just because you don't get the charger in a box. 
and you do have to purchase it separately. So it can go down to an eight and it can go as far as 6.5, um, 7.5 based on the fact that we always want to see less than one hour charge on a 5,000 milliamp hour battery. That's pretty much it. We don't know whether obviously the power curve is very aggressive when it comes to charging, but generally speaking below a certain time, yeah. yeah. So cool, 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 cool. Apart from that, apart from that, apart from that, man, I think for the mid-range phones, again, testing it as we go through, this is really, really, really impressed me. Of course, the video section was 4K30 because it doesn't support 4K60. That's what I usually like to point through. So a few disclaimers here and there, but I think for what it's packing in terms of its envelope and what it's doing, it's a good look. It's a good look. It's a very, 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 very good look. Right, we're gonna add this into the mix straight away. Software, of course. We just had a software update. Let's see what we have here in terms of what we're working with about phone. Right, nothing, OS 2.5.4. That's the build number right there. Um, yeah, software-wise, it's clean, it's nothing. Um, again, I'm, I don't really cover software that much. I just find it tedious and I find it boring. <laughs> so I like to really cover in depth the things that I care about, which is the camera battery charging. We're probably gonna go into performance testing soon with our own um, speed test, so watch out for that. We're gonna be curating that and seeing how that looks like. But software-wise, we're working with the latest Android, um, what you call it, 14. I think nothing did say that they will be getting two years of software updates on these platforms, so again, you know, it should at least be three. Um, the standard now being raised to four, but again, this is the price point of a mid-range, so I don't want to hold it too high. Um, this is some of the experimental features that they're talking about, which is interesting. Um, digital well-being, as you know. Um, display, as you know. Um, battery, as you know. Usage, there we go. Now, 12 minutes, still full charge, interesting. Interesting. Yep, 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 yep. So the software wise, honestly, is clean. Like if we go to the Glyph interface, it, this isn't the full Glyph interface, of course. Um, flip to Glyph, obviously is what I show you here. But if I flip it, it's gonna Glyph out, bam. So there's three Glyph lights there. Um, you can set a timer. Um, it's, 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 it's all glyphy. <laughs> it's all glyphy. Uh, glyph lights. Interesting, interesting. Uh, ringtones. All right. All right, so that's the glyph interface working. It's hard to see it. Let's see. Bam, bam, bam. Right, so that's the Glyph interface, man. The haptics are so good on this, for real, for real, for real. The haptics are so good on this, for real. So three glyph lights that they've got on there. Software-wise, honestly, I think in terms of the mid-range sector, you can't go wrong. I honestly think nothing have done a great job here in terms of the software. It's clean, it's fast, it's smooth, it's responsive. Um, it's really good, it's really good. I've, I've not felt any hiccups with it, man. I think it's just been solid and rock as it's been going, man. It's been it's been a good look. It's been a good look. It's been a real good look. So yeah, I vibe with it. I vibe with it. A hundred percent vibe with it. Hundred percent vibe with it. So conclusion time. Let's wrap this up with this special review of the Nothing Phone 2A. Would I recommend it? Hundred percent. Yes. Three hundred and nineteen pounds. Oh my goodness. Wow what they've been able to do here. Even if you spec it up to the 380 pound model, like, uh, man, this is such a good accomplishment. It's so well-rounded. I really like it, it's charming, it's charming. That's gonna be the best way I'm gonna put it. 
And I think, honestly, in the mid-range sector, at this rate, I think it deserves phone of the year when it comes to mid-range. Don't know. Let me know what you think. But that is pretty much it for me when it comes to my breakdown and review of the Nothing Phone 2A. Bang. Let's jump into the comments. One thing I noticed about the iPhone is that it absolutely sucks on YouTube with battery life at the Moto Edge 23 and it would run in circles on the 15 Pro on YouTube battery. Glad the haptics have improved. It was disappointed with the Nothing Phone 2 haptics. Now the haptics on this are solid. But yes, people, that is a wrap. Oh my goodness. How long did we go for in terms of the runtime? I didn't even pay attention. Uh, we've been cooking for an hour, 25 minutes. I think that makes sense for this device. I think that makes sense for this device. 19 concurrent viewers, we really appreciate you coming through. Again, for the replay squad, head over to the cut down channel, which is our second channel. But yeah, we're gonna have it linked in the description below. Head over to the cut down channel. So if you want a more condensed version of this live stream, head over there and go to the cut down. And then the cut down is where you will have the ability to see the shortened version of these review live streams that we do so it's easier to digest so that we try and cut it down by more than a half um again depends on the depth of it all but yeah head over to the cut down subscribe for the replay crew that wants it easier to watch as we go back we really appreciate your support thank you so much for sticking around for the live squad and listening to everything in terms of your feedback and whatnot we really 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 appreciate all the support that you give us but from then that's me from ben lover of tech Signing out. Peace. Have a good one.